Mean, median, and mode are all forms of central tendency, also known as summary statistics. Each method provides a way of finding one number to describe a large set of numbers. Often when gathering data, whether it's measurement, survey, or observation, we're left with a large set of data. It's then useful to get one number that more or less describes the whole set. For example, you might be looking at the weight of a group of children or counting the color of roses in a garden. Either of these counts are going to leave you with a large set of data. You might want to find then the average weight of the kids or the color most commonly found in the garden. Mean, median, and mode can be used to do this. Mean is the most common method of central tendency. Mean is also known as average. And mean involves taking the whole range of data and finding a number that relates equally to all of it even if that number is not in your set of values. So we do this mean and average by adding up the total set of values and dividing by the number of values in the set. So if we have a set x, y, z, I can find the average by adding up my x plus y plus z for the total of all my values, and then I divide by the number of values in my set. One, two, three. Divide by three. In this example, where I have the values 10, 14, 18, 20, and 22 in my set, I add those all together to find the average. So I add together 10 plus 14, plus 18, plus 20, plus 22, and I divide by the number of values in my set. One, two, three, four, five. So I divide that total sum by five, and I end up with a value of 16.8 as my average or my mean of my set of values, even though 16.8 isn't one of my values. It's the average of the set, or the mean of my set of values. Median involves arranging the values from least to greatest and finding the middle value. This will not reveal an average value but rather it will show you the value that lies right in the middle of the others. So let's take a look at an example with five values. First, what we want to do though, is before we even start calculating our median, we want to arrange these numbers in order from least to greatest. So I need to rewrite this as 10, 12, 18, 20, 24. And then take a look at my set. So I want to go over and find the middle value. I see that the middle value here is 18. There are two values on the left and two values on the right. So in this case where I have five values, the third one over is my middle value or my median. So in this case, the median is 18. Sometimes when we have an even number of values in our set, it can be a little bit tricky to find the median. If I go here kind of somewhere in the middle and I say, oh, what about 14? The problem is, if I pick 14 as my middle value, there's only two values to the left, but there's still three values to the right. So that's not exactly in the middle. And same thing if I pick my 16, it's not right in the middle because there's three values here to the left and to only two to the right. 
So what I do in this case is I find my two middle values, the 14 and the 16, and I take the average of those two, the mean of the two middle values. So 14 plus 16, I want to find the mean of those, so I have to divide by the number of values in my little set here. So 14 plus 16 divided by 2 equals 15. So in this case, with an even number of values in my set, my median is going to be 15. And as you can see, it is possible to have a median value that is not even part of my set of data. Mode is the most common value in a set. If our data set represents the answers to a survey, the mode will represent the most popular choice. If our data set represents measurements of a test, the mode will be the most frequent score. Let's look at an example. If I have this big set here, of A's, B's, C's, D's, and E's, what I do to find the mode is I count the number of times that what I'm looking at occurs. So for example, I want to know how many occurrences of the letter A are in my set. One, two, three, four. And I write that down. How many B's are in my set? One, two, three, four, five, six six B's. How many C's can I find? One, two, three C's. How about the D's? Oh, none on top there. One D, two D's. And E's, I only see one E in my whole set. So to find the mode, I look at how many occurrences there are and I find the one with the most occurrences is B is six times in my set. And so my mode is B. This is a good example of a time when my answer is not a number, but a letter. We're going to look at an example of a family of five who has measured their heights. And we want to find the mean, median, and mode of this family's heights. So let's look first. We've got the father measuring 71 inches, the mother 60 inches tall, the son is the same height as the father, 71 inches, the daughter 63 inches, and the little baby is 30 inches long or 30 inches tall. So let's start by finding the mean height of this family. So we want to take the average of this family's heights. So if you remember, what we want to do is add up all the heights. 71 plus 60 plus 71 plus 63 plus 30. If we add all those heights up, we're going to get a total of 295 for the total sum of the measurements of their heights. And then we need to divide by the number of items in our data set. There's a family of five, so one, two, three, four, five. Five items that we added together, so we need to divide by five. So 295 divided by five equals 59 inches. So the mean height of this family is 59 inches. To find the median, the median height of this family, remember we take our information and we order it from lowest, the little baby comes first, all the way up to highest in order. So we're going to do 30, then 60, then 63, and then 71, and we write the 71 twice. And in this case, since we have an odd number, a family of five, our median, or our middle number, is going to be the third one over. 
right here in the middle, and we can check and make sure we only have two values to the left and two values to the right, so that's correct. Our median is 63, and we should say equals 63 inches. We always need to label our answers, okay? And then to find the mode, remember with the mode, we're just looking for which value, which height is the most common. We don't have too many to look at in this one. So we can see that the only one that occurs twice is the 71 inches. So the mode is 71 inches. Okay, so we've got a mean 59 inches, median 63 inches, and mode 71 inches. And notice how each method finds a completely different number to describe our set of values. So depending on the conditions and what information you're seeking, the different methods are more appropriate than others. Knowing which method to use when looking at mean, median, and mode can be confusing. It all depends on the type of data and the purpose of using mean, median, and mode. With mean, we use this most often when our data is symmetrical, meaning that there's not real extreme highs and lows. If we have really high or really low numbers and we're trying to find the mean, it will skew our answer. The mean gives equal weight to each value in the set. And so we use mean when we're looking at things like calculating average grades or sports statistics or average speeds. For median, we use median when we have more asymmetrical data. So when we have some real, real highs and some real, real lows because it gives less weight to the highs and the lows and the extremes. So median is most useful when comparing things like prices, where a consumer might not want the very cheapest item or the very most expensive, but might want to buy the item with a price right in the middle. The mode is most useful when we're comparing things that aren't even numbers. And it's mostly used to find the most common answer or most popular result of a survey or an election, or a list of things.